Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a stop motion artist and a visual engineer. In this video, I'll be talking about using motion control in making a stop motion videos. Using motion control can be a game changer when it comes to making professional stop motion, whether it's an Instagram content or a stop motion movie. I use motorized rigs all the time when I need to move the camera or an object on the stop motion set. And for the most part, I make the rigs and controlling devices that I need. I'll start with a brief explainer on the concept of motion control in filmmaking. Then I will show how motion control works while shooting a stop motion in Dragon Frame. Motion control is about having a device that can move according to a pre-programmed manner. For example, the simple device can move from one position to another at the speed and for the distance that we define when we program it. As I press the run button, this moving head starts from position A and moves to position B. If I needed to move a camera while shooting or filming an object while it's moving, I can attach the camera or the object onto this moving head and get our camera or the object moved by this device. The result would be a precise smooth movement, which is not easy to achieve if done manually. Motorized camera sliders are the most common motion control devices that are used by filmmakers. While there are complicated camera robots that can move a camera or an object in any direction. But how does this concept work for stop motion? Since stop motion is actually made from a series of still images that are taken one at a time. So how can we have a device that can move our camera or an object on a stop motion set? I'll explain this using an example. Say we want to make a stop motion video of this plane doing a loop maneuver and then lands. What we would normally do is to attach the plane to a kind of rig and adjust it to its first position and take an image. Then we'll move the plane and the propeller slightly to their next position and take another shot and so on. Now let's do this maneuver flight using motion control. I've attached the plane to a device which I've made that can be controlled by Dragon Frame. If you are unfamiliar, Dragon Frame is a stop motion software that is used by many stop motion creators. In Dragon Frame, I can define where the movement starts, where it ends, how the overall movement should look, plus how many frames all the movement should take. Now, after everything is set, what happens is Dragon Frame calculates the position of the plane on each frame. As I take the first shot, this rig moves the plane to its next position and holds on, so I can readjust the propeller manually and take a shot. Then the plane moves to its next position and so on. This is called shoot, move, shoot technique. The result would be something like this. Very neat and smooth. Here is the same movement from another angle. Yes, you can program once 
and take the exact movement several times. This is great for different purposes. In the same way, we can have other objects to move on the set as well as the camera or the lights or all together. And meanwhile, you can adjust a puppet manually or any other object before taking the shot. In my next video, I'll be explaining about the benefits of using motion control in making stop motion videos and how it helps to create complicated movements in an easy way. Please hit the like button if you like this video. And I'll appreciate your feedback. So leave a comment and let me know your questions and thoughts about this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.